And if the president wants to haul some people around a conference table and berate them for high premiums, he should be hauling Mitt Romney and Deval Patrick, governors of Massachusetts, around that conference table because it's in Massachusetts where health insurance premiums are rising the fastest. And that's precisely because Massachusetts has already enacted the Obama health plan. Erica, my concern about getting the government involved in health care is that I was talking to a doctor the other day who said he likes to have Medicare patients. He tries to focus on them because he gets paid three times as much from the government as he does as what he's contracted with insurance, uh, health insurance companies. If they're running the whole thing, it seems like it's going to get more expensive, no? Well, I think it's really a question of values. Do you want somebody sitting on their hospital bed arguing with their insurance company over whether or not they should get a treatment? You know, does somebody who worked for a living, should they have to have an insurance, a low-level insurance what does employee that have to do with arguing Medicare with them? Charging, paying a whole bunch. What does that have to do with Medicare if paying you, if doctors If you look at lot. Medicare as a whole, it is the most efficient medical delivery system that we have in this country. And if you look at the health, um, the health system as a whole, in contrast, it's the least efficient, the most expensive, and we're still 37th Michael, in the so world. Why, why, we're is the richest the most efficient, country why is in, the world, and we're in the world. Why is it 37th in the world? And Erica, what, what, I, I'm not, I'm not going to deny that Medicare provides valuable services. But, right. But, 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 but when you say it's the most efficient, it's 30 trillion some odd in the whole. Why is that? What does that tell us? How does that inform us? Well. Medicare is sponsored by the government, and as such, it has an obligation to cover people. Its obligation is not to make a profit. Its obligation is to provide well, health care. How about break even? Just health insurance you just said it's companies efficient. Right. have an obligation means to develop. break even. The Medicare system is a very efficient uh, um, health care delivery system. Look at, look at any report from any economist. It is an efficient delivery of the services that It's completely that it disingenuous for the president or other supporters of the Democrats' health legislation to say that they don't want private insurance companies coming between patients and their doctors. The price control commission that the president has announced uh, or proposed it would tell insurance companies, no, you can't raise your premiums by 10%. You can only raise them by 5%. So when insurance companies can't cover their costs, they're going to start denying services. And the cause is going to be that government price control, price control commission. It's a tool for, for enabling the government to implicitly ration care without getting their hands dirty in any of those Erica, actual medical so you, decisions. So you have a and yet they'll turn, around, I mean, they'll I turn around and blame that on the insurance companies rather than on the regulations that, so that the actually insurance cause the companies, problem. Um, one of the insurance companies that's in the news right now is WellPoint. And they asked last year in Michigan for a 50% increase in premium. So a, a normal Completely, individual you know what, who that is, is paying that is maybe $8,000 a year Erica, is going to see their health care costs buy up if, go up you by can pick $4,000. Out, you can pick out a high premium increase like that any year, any day of the... Any day that's of the year, exactly any year. right, and that's part what, of the problem. If you, what, if you what can't want pick to, out a rate what you want like that to do any day is of the year. Average if, what you want to do is compare average premium increases state by state, and Massachusetts has the highest average premium increases for any state in the union, and that has already enacted, Massachusetts has already enacted the Obama health plan. But don't okay. are going I, to Erica, rise how do you respond the Obama to the argument, plan, though, that his original argument that if they don't raise premiums, the other option is they're just going to deny services? How do you respond to that argument? Because that seems like a pretty, I mean, that, that is kind of the experience that you have. If they don't raise your premium, you end up getting less coverage. It's not great, but that does seem to be the trade-off. How do you respond to that? I, I think everything that you're saying is exactly right. They are denying coverage. They're raising premiums. They're denying coverage. And 45,000 people died last year because they didn't have the right kind of health insurance. Well, just, you know, and again, it comes down to this question of values. Do yeah, you but, think that people who are, have worked their whole life for a living deserve from? to be sitting in a hospital but, bed and arguing with their insurance company? Thing?